All right, what I'm about to show you, most people are charging hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for. So much so that last time I made a video kind of like this, I got some messages privately saying that I'm gonna ruin it for everyone, I'm saturating the market, why don't I charge for etc, etc. So I thought I'd piss them off a little more by going into even more detail today. So, this is the method that I rave about. This is the method that I stand by, that I live by, that is just so much easier than all those other things. Anti Tech web browsers and app cloner and I'm aware of all that. I know how to use them all, I know what's going on, but I'll always stick with the iPhone method and I'm about to show you why. So the first reason is that by doing what I'm about to show you, we don't require verification. We don't need that process of getting an account verified, which involves a whole lot of other hoops that you need to jump through. If you do it the way that I'm about to show you, you will not need verification. You can remove that step. And when you're having to create so many accounts for so many different people, assuming you've got a big agency, removing one step can save you so much time. So let's get into it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is purchase a SIM card and activate. This is before you even factory reset the phone. This is before you insert the SIM. Now listen carefully. We purchase SIM cards for the country where we slash the iPhones are in. We don't purchase SIM cards for a different country, for a country where you wanna show the dating app profile. We purchase a SIM card for the same country where we and the iPhones are in, all right? Listen carefully. Now, I understand you're gonna say, yeah, but we wanna show dating app profiles in a different country. We don't wanna show them in the same country. Yeah, I got it. I know, I've been doing this for a while. Just listen carefully and follow along. So you'll be purchasing a SIM card from the same country where you're in, and then you'll activate it. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, you wanna set up the iPhone. So you wanna factor reset it, then you wanna insert the SIM card, and then you wanna create the Apple ID and sign in. Oh yeah, but the iPhone has created max number of Apple IDs. I know, I've done this before, there is a way around it, but I'm not gonna saturate this video by involving all these other steps. Just Google it, you can create Apple IDs on iPhones that are already maxed out. Actually, we've got an empire, all right? So, you'll factor reset the iPhone, then you'll insert the SIM card, then you'll create the Apple ID, use that SIM card number to verify the Apple ID, and then you'll sign in, all right? Next, we're gonna modify the location. Now, I'm about to link one of these iPhone 8s that we use to the computer, and I'm gonna show you how we do that now. So we've just opened up iAnyGo, free software. You can also use 3U tools, that which works better on a PC, but we're on a Mac, so we're gonna use iAnyGo. The iPhone is connected. Now we'll go enter, B's iPhone. This is the name of the iPhone. You'll select it and go next. Now, once it's connected, it's gonna show the rough area of where the mobile phone is in. Now, we're in Melbourne, but we're not exactly here. That's why I don't mind showing it. So what are you gonna do? Listen closely. This is the first account, all right? The first account. So for the first account, you could actually just set up in the area you're in, but we wanna be safe. So we'll zoom out. Now, remember the SIM card that we've purchased is for the same country that you're in. So the SIM card we purchased is Australia. So we're going to spoof the iPhone to a different location in Australia. So let's go to McKay. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's go to McKay. So you're gonna zoom in. You wanna look somewhat realistic. Remember these apps are clever. You wanna look realistic. So we're gonna go ahead and select a house. Because these apps are clever, you don't wanna select like a park or anything because they've got a fair idea. You just assume that they know everything, right? So we've selected this park here. What is it called? 276 Shakespeare Street. Now, if you wanna be extra careful, you can note this address, and you can also use the same address when you're verifying billing details for when you go and purchase, you know, Tinder Gold, Bumble Premium, et cetera, et cetera. So, start to modify. Boom. All right, location is done. So now that we've done that, now we'll go ahead and prepare the photos. Now we've selected five brand new photos of the model. Remember, you don't wanna reuse photos that are associated with another account. I know a lot of people say, yeah, but I'll just tweak it, I'll do this, I'll use an image clicker. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Fresh, brand new photos. If you're running out of photos, just get the model to record a short video and then just extract frames from the video. You'll have photos for days, but you're selecting five brand new photos. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the metadata. Now, if you're on a PC, this is a lot easier. You can simply right click and then go to properties and I can't remember because I haven't used a PC in a while, but you can do it all within Windows. But if you're on Mac, you wanna download some free software and then you can run the photos through that and it'll remove all the metadata. So you'll simply download this software, image opt-in to the Mac, you'll install it. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna drag all the photos into this image opt-in software and it's gonna do the rest for you. It will automatically remove all the metadata and then those photos will be prepared. 
And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is upload it to the iCloud. Now let's sign into the iCloud account associated with the iPhone. When you're running so many iPhones and you're creating a kind of phone farm, what I tend to do is I put a sticker on the back of each device and it will have the number, the location where we've spoofed to, remember what I said before, and then the iCloud account associated with it along with the number of the phone. So if it's like an iPhone 8, it'll be like iPhone 8, three. You know, if you've got 100 phones, you need to keep track of them. So that's what I do. That's just a little tip if you wanna, you know, stay organized. So we're signing into the iCloud, if I've done this right, associated with the phone. Okay, now we're signing in. I'll block this part out, but we'll sign in now. Now, once you've signed in, it's gonna ask you to verify. So on the device itself, it's gonna ask you if you wanna trust it, etc., and then it's gonna give you a verification code, and then you're gonna enter that code into this window. So it has sent our code to this iPhone 8, 842378. Then you go trust this browser, yes please. Now once you're signed in, you're gonna go ahead and click on Photos, and then we're actually going to upload the photos from the computer, the ones that we just prepared, to this iCloud account, and then we can go ahead and download them onto the iPhone. Here's the photos we're gonna use. So we're gonna highlight them all, go open. It's gonna download them to this iCloud account inside the Photos app. So then when you open up the iPhone, they should already be there in the Photos app once it's all synced. All right, now that's done, we'll go ahead and open up the iPhone and we'll download the photos to the iPhone. Boom. All right, so we're in the iPhone. So now we're gonna to go to Photos and it's gonna sync. And there's the photos that we prepared earlier, all right? So now that they're in there, now we can go ahead and download Tinder. Now, normally I'd be downloading Tinder, Bumble, and in a third app, which is normally Hinge, or we play around the third one, but it's always Tinder and Bumble. But to save you waiting for this low time, because this SIM card seems to be slow, we'll just go ahead and skip that part, and then we'll get to it now. Now, when you create the account, you can sign in with a couple of the above. You can either sign in with Apple, because then it will use your Apple ID and then that's just an extra step of verification. It will save you having to verify through emails because Apple ID will automatically do it for you. Or you can go sign in with the phone number which will be using the phone number associated with the brand new SIM that you just inserted. So we're gonna sign in with the phone number. Now the device will probably recognize the phone number for when you verify the new Apple ID that you created. So you do that. But remember that code at the start does not work with these two numbers because it's got the code for the country on your left and on the right, it's trying to enter the code as well. So if I just went to push next, that wouldn't work. So I'll subtract those two, because that is the code for Australia, plus six one, and then the rest of the phone number. So we'll go ahead and go next. Then it's gonna get you to verify. So it's gonna send you a verification code. Good old Apple technology will automatically detect that. So that's easy. Now we're gonna go ahead and enter the email, which is the same email address that you use to create the Apple ID. Then you'll connect to the Apple. Now, once you've connected to the Apple ID, it's already gonna go through the whole verification, no needing to verify the emails, et cetera, et cetera. You'll just go ahead and go, I agree. And now let's set up the account. So first name, we will go B. Now, when you're creating multiple accounts for the same model, just use variations of the model's name. We don't normally make up a brand new name because otherwise, when the simps go through the funnel from these dating apps, they're eventually gonna find out that the model's name is different from the one you used in the dating app and then all of a sudden the alarm bells are gonna go off. But if you create all these accounts with just slightly variations, for example, if the name is Bianca and you say the name is B or just the letter B in your dating apps, then when the simp funnels through and eventually sees that the model's name is Bianca, they're not gonna have all these alarm bells going off. They're gonna go, ah, well, they're just using a variation. But little do they know is using all these variations so that you don't flag the app, just in case. I have no proof to say that the apps will know if you use multiple of the same name. I have no proof to say that the apps will flag an account based on using the same name with similar looking photos. I have no proof for that, but you wanna be careful. So you're just gonna use variations. So that's where I came up with the name B. Now you're into the birthday, gender, woman, straight. Now here's a little trick. I have heard this from somewhere, I'm not too sure, but I have heard that if you say that you're interested in everyone, apparently the app will give the account a slightly higher trust score than if you just said that you're interested in seeing men, assuming that the model's a girl. I heard this along the grapevine, but look, it wouldn't hurt to try this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say you're interested in everyone, and then when the account has been warmed up, you'll go ahead and undo that. So you'll go on the settings and you'll say they're only interested in men or, you know, depending on the model. So you can undo that. But for now, you're just gonna say interested in everyone. Leave the distance as is. Remember, you don't wanna do anything out of the ordinary. And then say, look, short, medium to long-term, all still figuring it out. 
you know, so then you're not totally deceiving these simps because you have to think that when they get funneled through, if they feel betrayed and you're obviously just using them, if they know that, then they're gonna report the account. They're gonna report this account or they might report you're on another platform, whatever you're using the funnel. So if you can be honest where possible, I'd recommend doing that. So for example, I wouldn't say you're looking for a long-term relationship and then the simple will funnel through and see even OnlyFans, I go, well, that's a big lie. But if you say still figuring out, well, you're not really lying, are you? So starting your thing is, look, you'll enter a school, but we're just gonna skip that. But I would recommend to enter a school this is when you get really technical. You zoom in around that location where you spoof the iPhone to. Look for a school around the area and enter that in because you just wanna cover all your bases. But we're just gonna skip it. I, wanna, I don't wanna keep this dragging on for you. Now we're gonna go ahead and enter some other details. You can just do whatever you want here, but we wanna look innocent. So I'm just gonna skip that for you and we'll do that now. All right, so we just said that the model drinks on weekends, they don't smoke, and they have a pet rabbit. Now we'll do the rest of these. Now when it comes to the zodiac sign, remember, in order to not need verification, you wanna cover all your bases. You wanna make sure there are no anomalies. So what I'd say for zodiac is, I haven't actually done it, but remember we said the birthday was in May. Now I can't remember what zodiac that is, I haven't done the research, and I'm in the middle of a video. But what you will do is you will research in advance the associated zodiac sign for that month where you say the birthday is, so then it matches up. So I can't remember, so we're gonna say Pisces. Next, what are you into? Let's go ahead and just enter some random things. Harry Potter, socializing, coffee, vintage clothing, can't remember what else, but just make some stuff up. Now, let's go ahead and upload the pictures that we supplied earlier. Go to gallery, they will already be there. Next, you can just select all of them if you like. Next, we'll go continue. Now the big test to make sure that you've modified the location properly, so we'll go allow. Sweet, so that's all done. It looks like the location matched up with the one that we spoofed earlier. Now it's just uploading the photos. Turn on notifications. Yeah, sure, but it doesn't really matter. So we'll just say give it a miss. Exit this part because it's a factory reset phone. You have no contacts, so you'll just exit that. Now, this is the part where a lot of people get mixed up. They will start going swiping all over the place. Then they'll just start matching willy-nilly. And that's how all these accounts get banned for a lot of people. But this is the part where you actually just leave it and just swipe right. Do what it says, swipe left and then let's go. Okay, it looks like the SIM card is struggling to get internet reception where I am, but point is, you just go through the tutorial, swipe right once, swipe left once, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna close the app and then leave it for 48 hours. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and close the app. Boom, leave it there, 48 hours, do not touch. And then once you've left it 48 hours, you'll go ahead and do this. So you wanna finish setting up the rest of the account, which is the bio, will be a subtle funnel. That's a whole nother video where these Insta, Snapchat, whatever. Then you fill out the other details. I think it has like politics and something. It's been a while, normally have people that do this for me. Then you're gonna purchase Tinder Gold using App Store gift cards. And then once you've got Tinder Gold, then this is how you show the accounts in different countries. A lot of people saying, yeah, yeah, but if we're only spoofing different parts of Australia and using Australian Sims, how do I show the accounts in the US? How do I show it in the UK? This is how you show it in the US and the UK. You use gold because then you're using Tinder's inbuilt travel function in gold to show it in different countries. And then you're not having to risk any anomalies by having a SIM card from a country, a spoof location from a different country. You're not risking showing all these anomalies which these apps will eventually detect if not already. This way you're doing all the traveling within the app itself. And this is exactly how we create so many accounts without needing verification. And then after this, it comes down to acting maximum human, which I would recommend no more than 200 matches a day, swipe left 10% of the time. Why? Because that's what people do. They don't just swipe right. Well, maybe guys do, but girls don't. So make sure if you're swiping right, then swipe left every now and then. Stick to these and you will not need verification, assuming that you have a good funnel. If your funnel is obvious and you're just writing Instagram in the bio with a camera, well then you're gonna either need verification or the account's gonna get banned, so don't hold me to that. This is only assuming that your funnel is super subtle and you're not getting flagged by having an obvious bio because then you'll need verification and then the account will probably get flagged. If you wanna know a good way to do it, we have it on Empire, I'm not gonna show it on here, although it's unfair to all the Empire members, but we also have a good way to funnel and then we don't need verification on any of the accounts. So that's it. If you liked it and if this helped you in any way, please like it, please subscribe, and I'll see you on another video. The ultimate hub for only fans success.